I travel around the state and I am a kind of ambassador for poetry and one of the things I'm trying to do is get to all 39 counties in Washington. What I want you to write in the very first box is write just that person, place, or thing that's part of your sentence, okay? And then what you're going to do, don't show it to anybody else, especially at your table. And then you're going to roll it up so nothing shows. You're going to roll it all the way to the number two and then you're going to pass it to your left. So what would that, what might that look like? Maybe it's a color or maybe it's a shape. What's, what does great evil look like to you? If you were going to paint it, what would you, and how would you describe what you would paint? A battle with zombies and unicorns. Zombies and unicorns. Excellent. I want my head as big as a watermelon. Okay, let's make it Caden shot a ball and a hoop on a, on, a, on a court with my friends. Very cool. Hi, I'm Julie Ziegler, Executive Director at Humanities Washington. You just saw the power of the humanities in action. Kathleen Flanagan, as our state's Poet Laureate, travels the state to communities large and small, sparking conversation and critical thinking, using story as a catalyst. Kathleen inspires her students to be creative and to think more deeply and critically about the world around them, which is exactly what each one of Humanities Washington's programs is doing around the state today. We love bringing the humanities to unlikely places to reach the broadest audience possible, and we do so by partnering with hundreds of community organizations ranging from small rural libraries to urban brew pubs. Our newest program, Think and Drink, brings hosted conversations on provocative topics and new ideas to pubs and tasting rooms around the state. Past events have delved into such themes as morality, religion, history, and politics. Our Traveling Exhibits program brings major museum exhibits to underserved areas and surprising venues around the state, enhancing cultural awareness and generating new community connections. Our grants program assists local organizations in creating opportunities for communities to come together and discuss important issues using the humanities. Our Speakers Bureau of leading cultural experts and scholars provide free conversational lecture events on topics ranging from history to culture to current events. And our family reading programs use reading, storytelling, and discussion to explore cultural and ethical themes in children's literature and emphasize the importance of families reading together. I think the humanities are really important as part of richness and having quality of life in our culture. To have a thoughtful exam in life I think is a critical part of a good life. And what I like about Humanities Washington is that it actively engages deep thinkers with the community. And Humanities Washington does a great job of bringing scholars directly in contact with neighborhoods and communities across the state and that's what really excites me about what they do. Almost every day, we hear stories about how we are a nation divided. At Humanities Washington, we believe in another narrative, that stories can bring us together. During these polarizing times, Humanities Washington plays a critical role in fostering respect for other perspectives and bringing diverse communities together to learn from one another. As the state's flagship nonprofit for the humanities, Humanities Washington promotes awareness of local history, provides opportunities for people to gather and learn more about their unique pasts and shared present, and nurture relationships that enable us to move forward toward a more prosperous future. We hope you'll join us in this work to nurture more informed and engaged communities across our state.